Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about the Seagate hard drive low-level commands. We are going to introduce the hardware and the software tools we need to run these low-level commands to fix the firmware problem. The low-level hard drive commands are used to work with the hard drive low-level programs like firmware, low-level format, and all other manufacturer-controlled issues. The Seagate hard drive firmware bug is inside of the firmware, so we have to use the low-level commands to fix the firmware problem. The Seagate low-level hard drive commands can be sent to the hard drive through the RS-232 port on the Seagate hard drive. In order to send the low-level commands from computer to the hard drive through the RS-232 port, we need some hardware and software tools. Nowadays, the RS-232 port is disappeared from the modern computers. Then, how can a computer send the low-level commands to the hard drive through the RS-232 port? The answer is the USB to RS-232 converter. The picture shows the converter we used to connect the computer to the hard drive through the RS-232 port. This picture shows the RS-232 port on a Seagate SATA hard drive. The Seagate hard drives run the low-level commands through this port. This port is not designed for the end user to use. The dimension of this port is unique. So there is no connector for this port available on the market, except hdd-parts.com. They do provide this special Seagate RS-232 connector, which is included in their Seagate firmware fix tools. This picture shows the Seagate SATA hard drive RS-232 port connector. Another option is use the computer's RS-232 port to connect to the RS-232 port on the hard drive. This picture shows the RS-232 port on an old computer. But the signal voltage on the RS-232 port on the computer is minus 13 to plus 13. The RS-232 port voltage on the hard drive is TTL. So we need to convert the RS-232 voltage on the computer to TTL. And also, most of the old computer are out of use, so this method is not recommended. The hyperterminal software tools are used to send low-level commands from the computer to the hard drive. There are a few available hyperterminal software. For Windows, you can use Hyperterminal in XP or Putty. For Macintosh, you can use a built-in application called Terminal. For Linux and Unix, there are a lot of terminal software. You can use them to send signals from the computer to the Seagate hard drives. The next video, we are going to talk about all the things we need to fix the Seagate hard drive firmware problem and how to set up them together. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.